Welcome to the wonderful world of harvesting and preserving produce. One of the most rewarding aspects of gardening is enjoying the fruits and vegetables of your labor. But what do you do when your garden produces more than you can eat fresh? That's where harvesting and preservation techniques come in. In this comprehensive guide, we'll explore strategies for harvesting fruits and vegetables at their peak ripeness, as well as methods for preserving excess harvest through canning, freezing, drying, and pickling. Whether you're a beginner or experienced gardener, learning how to harvest and preserve your produce will allow you to enjoy the flavors of your garden year-round. Let's get started. Harvesting at Peak Ripeness Harvesting Fruits and Vegetables At the peak of ripeness ensures the best flavor, texture, and nutritional value. Here are some general guidelines for harvesting common garden crops. Tomatoes Harvest tomatoes when they are fully ripe and have developed their full color. They should be firm, but give slightly when gently squeezed. Pick tomatoes with a slight downward twist to avoid damaging the stem. Lettuce. Harvest leafy greens, like lettuce when the leaves are young and tender. Cut outer leaves with a sharp knife or scissors, leaving the center intact to continue growing. Avoid harvesting lettuce in hot weather, as it can become bitter. Cucumbers. Harvest cucumbers, when they are firm and bright green in color. Pick them before they become overripe or yellow, as they can become bitter and seedy. Cut cucumbers from the vine with a pair of shears or a sharp knife. Zucchini and summer squash. Harvest. Zucchini and summer squash, when they are small to medium in size, about six or eight inches long. Pick them frequently to encourage continued production. Use a knife to cut the squash from the vine, taking care not to damage the plant. Beans. Harvest beans. When they are young and tender, before the seeds inside begin to swell. Pick beans frequently to encourage new growth and prevent the pods from becoming tough and stringy. Use two hands to snap beans from the vine or use scissors for delicate varieties. Methods of preservation. Once you've harvested your produce, it's time to preserve it for future use. Here are some popular methods of preservation. Canning. Canning is a method of preserving food by sealing it in airtight jars and heating it to destroy microorganisms that cause spoilage. This method is commonly used for high acid foods like fruits, tomatoes, and pickles, as well as acidic or acidic foods like jams, jellies, and salsa. Freezing. Freezing is a simple and convenient method of preserving fruits and vegetables. Most fruits and vegetables can be frozen raw or blanched to preserve their flavor, color, and texture. Pack produce in airtight containers or freezer bags, removing as much air as possible to prevent freezer burn. Drying. Drying, or dehydration, is a method of preserving food by removing moisture from the produce. Dried fruits and vegetables can be stored for long periods without refrigeration and are great for snacking or adding to recipes. Use a food dehydrator or oven set at a low temperature to dry produce evenly. Pickling. Pickling is a method of preserving food by immersing it in a brine solution containing vinegar, salt, and spices. This method imparts a tangy flavor to the produce and helps preserve it for long periods. Common pickled foods include cucumbers, carrots, beets, and green beans.